One of the reasons that cows and fish um, got involved in sort of talking more about the beaver thing is that we've always recognized that they're an integral part of the landscape and particularly riparian landscapes. Um, but there's, um, uh, we've encountered over the years a lot of people who either uh, love beavers or maybe hate beavers and not usually a lot of sort of in between. It's more about um, them understanding um, how beavers interact with them and how they interact with the landscape, but not seeing maybe the positives and the negatives, usually only one or the other. And so one of our, our roles is to help people understand how, um, how beavers operate and some of the management techniques that um, we can use to live with beavers and tolerate beavers and I guess um, one of our challenges has been you know finding real case studies and examples to showcase how, how we can actually manage and live with beavers put in place some of those techniques that might be suitable and so we've been trying to work with and find landowners and others that are that have tried things out and, and learned from those successes so, so we can share those ideas. So one of the things that we've heard um, certainly during the drought years um, was you know those landowners especially like livestock producers that had a beaver pond are really lucky and really glad that they did because those were often the only places that water was left in in dry years they had water that beaver dam you know held back water that could form for livestock water and and certainly it provides moisture for the surrounding area not only does it slow water down that beaver um, dam and, and hopefully reduce erosion and and it allows for flow through the rest of the year longer than, than, um, than maybe otherwise would have happened. So, uh, so that's a real benefit for, live, for livestock producers and, and rural landowners. I think one of the reasons that this site um, is so um, interesting and so successful is not only the passion that Pierre you know, the, the, the adjacent landowners are so keen on it, but it's also a really good sort of example of the cost benefit from a financial perspective. I think, you know, it's nice that we have the numbers to say that this, you know, financially made a lot of sense because the maintenance costs from an infrastructure perspective were, you know, very significant. To find that sort of collaborative opportunity that could work for everybody, which isn't necessarily always going to be the case, but it was sure a great opportunity in this situation that it was really one of those, it was a win-win-win-win situation um, for not only the beavers but each of the landowners um, kind of benefited in, in a way that that they could really be happy with too. The, um, the initial uh, idea behind the culvert came from years of uh, having difficulties being able to control the water level at this uh, particular site what the, uh, you will see later on, we had a couple more culverts that end up to be constantly plugged by, uh, by the beavers and wanting to make this place here uh, absolutely uh, flooded. And uh, so what happens uh, is some wonderful people at the MD of Foothill uh, help uh, us in, in, in controlling the uh, beaver situation. And in the process, they, uh, we end up to adopt and found a, a beaver culvert that would be, be somewhat beaver proof. So the MD uh, came with a construction crew and they end up to install this uh, type of uh, culvert. And the way that the, or the principle in which the culvert works is the, um, the water will be able to go inside the culvert from a hole underneath uh, at the T-junction of the culvert and uh, so the water will be capable of flowing freely from that location. Meanwhile, any sounds from the beaver or any sounds from the water uh, ends up to be directed straight vertically. Uh, when you're thinking about, uh, about cul the culvert constructions, uh, one of the main issue that you must consider is the sound. The sound will be the uh, most important aspect on how to prevent a beaver from actually performing a construction zone. So if they cannot hear the, the sound of water, at that point there is no motivation behind the beavers in order to achieve a dam of some sort. The uh, tendency would be uh, once a week you would require to have a backhoe of some sort and it comes at one point that the frustration level in constantly repairing or constantly making a system to work 
becomes extremely expensive when you consider the transportation issue, the manpower involved, unloading, loading, and so forth. So at that point, since the MD have gone to this type of beavers, there hasn't been one flood over, even though we had the 2013 flood, those two culverts end up to, uh, to handle the situation extremely well. The water level was quite high, and yes, indeed, and the water was even flowing above the culverts. However, there was no damage to the roadway. So uh, it was a very positive outcome. Mm -hmm. uh, at the end, the cost, the bang for the buck, oh yes, well worth it. No, you do it once, do it right, do it forever. And that's, that's what they did here. So here we are at the beaver pond and we got the uh, beaver lodge behind us. And uh, so once every two, three, four days, I am gonna be taking a few branches of uh, the poplar tree and I, I will bring, bring them to the, uh, to the beavers. What it will do in turn, it will prevent the beavers from, uh, um, from wishing to go and get a tree out and uh, cut a new fresh tree. So whenever the beaver leaves the area of the uh, beaver pond, he is uh, extremely prone to uh, predators such as dogs um, and coyotes and um, different predators that could have cougars for that matter. So it is important that uh, by taking those branches and uh, just taking it to him into the pond, what I end up to uh, do is uh, I lessen his risk for him to be attacked while he's out on firm ground. So what I end up to do at this point is basically uh, loose up the uh, few trees that we have taken and we are going to uh, put them on the edge of uh, the beaver pond. One of the uh, benefit of, uh, of the beaver, and one of the benefit that I have observed is actually in the aquifer of, uh, or the water level in the aquifer. And uh, one of the situation that we end up to find uh, in this particular valley is a well would have a tendency to be running dry. And especially when there was recycling of the uh, water, of the filtration system. So, uh, and there was high demand on, of water. Um, the fact that ever since the beaver has showed up and uh, we have brought back the, the beavers in the valley, what we have found is we no longer have this problem with the uh, water uh, of uh, level into the well. So the well more than likely ends up to be uh, quite sufficient. And it is uh, to this benefit that people up the valley also want to have a higher level in their well so they can actually filter their water adequately and so forth. Uh, if we are able to rehabilitate or control the beavers and be able to manage the beavers uh, and manage the water level, this sort of uh, problem should end up to dissipate in the future by uh, proper management of the, um, of the water level. And, but the benefit we end up to get from the watershed is phenomenal. Um, the, uh, the amount of songbirds that uh, this valley end up to have now is triple the amount that what we used to have and the level of mooses uh, that comes and breed and provide their babies here also is, is quite significant. One of the reasons this uh, is a great success story is uh, all the happy partners here and I guess uh, my perspective as a counselor is um, Creative solutions are, are, are great when the, the whole community comes together to find it and in this case this is an example of that. So we had uh, various perspectives uh, shared by residents here both positive and negative as to whether they were interested in having the, the beavers present in the community. 
and uh, the members here approached me so we could look at finding a solution. From the perspective of uh, the MDF Foothills, from the municipal perspective, is uh, management. So we take into consideration all the factors, uh, the costs, um, the affected landowners, the infrastructure that's being impacted, and what the possible solutions might be and how we might achieve them. Uh, we first had a landowners meeting. The process started with a landowners meeting in uh, July 2012. And uh, then we moved on to um, finding solutions. So our residents were involved in uh, proposing ideas and um, uh, specifically uh, Mike Gallant, who is our uh, Deputy Director of uh, Public Works, helped us with looking into various culverts and beaver apparatus that was uh, possible to attach to the culverts. When we were at our landowners meeting, um, uh, residents shared the specific problem and that was one of the uh, roads on the side was being impacted. So the uh, private landowner infrastructure was being affected in this case as well as the location of the culvert and the municipal road was being affected so we had the cost of those to consider. Uh, in the solution, uh, when we were on site looking at the specific location, we determined that if we would move the culverts further south, that was one part of the solution as well as uh, trying these different devices out. And in terms of the amount of water in that uh, uh, body of water that's being um, collected on account of the beavers drowning the, 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 the water up in this, in this environmental reserve, that um, we were uh, determining that two culverts would be a better solution than one and, and move the water better and uh, the cost approximately was about $35,000 altogether, so that would be the, the two 600-millimeter uh, culverts and the uh, beaver devices and the time and cost to install. Uh, typically, um, uh, every summer we're coming out here a number of times, uh, the cost was approximately five to $10,000 per uh, summer to, uh, to attend to this particular site. Uh, and then when you uh, weigh the the pros and cons of what we've achieved here, which is no maintenance after the installation of these particular culverts. It's been really a success story.